Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronax and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. So I got Diane and I'm gonna show you uh, Diane in action against the Wyvern, stage eight. And I'll uh, explain to you why I'm using her in there. So this is the team I'm gonna use. I decided to six star uh, Diane. Initially I wanted to uh, six star uh, Tiaria uh, because I use Tiaria everywhere, almost everywhere. But I mean, I managed to pull Diane. I wasn't expecting it, but I did. So I, as a uh, free-to-play player, I just decided to use uh, uh, six-star Diane as my second six-star. Because I I'm gonna use her in uh, a pretty big part of the game's content. And she provides a lot uh, to the group. PvP is pretty important for me, even though I'm only free to play. Uh, it does provide a good source of uh, sky stones every week. So, yeah. So, uh, Diane is pretty much... She brings the power of two heroes, basically, because uh, she used her skill 3, and then uh, very shortly afterwards, she uses her uh, skill number 2, and uh, yeah, you got attack buff, and then you got uh, crit damage, uh, uh, crit chance uh, reduction. That uh, like it reduces the chance of the enemy uh, to land a critical hit on you. And then her skill too is uh, she applies a barrier that scales uh, on the based on the targets, the allies target uh, max HP. So you don't even have to go uh, super high HP on her. You can go. Speed, 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 as much speed as possible, and then the the two uh, the second set, the two piece, you can just go with the uh, health. Uh, I mean, you, you could just go uh, broken. You could well, rip uh, the area there. Let's see how the run goes. My the area is extremely squishy now. Diane made this run more uh, successful than how it was before. Uh, I have to kind of babysit the game because uh, I mean, sometimes, like like you just saw, uh, the wyvern just took out uh, Tiaria, double attacks back to back, because there was no debuff that was uh, applied to the boss, just double uh, fire breath. So this the tail, uh, let's call it tail swing, removes all buffs on the team. All you really need is to be able to break it uh, before the wyvern goes again. But he reduces uh, his speed considerably, so you have plenty of time, assuming you have enough damage. <clears throat> if not, he's gonna do a a big attack that's gonna deal a huge amount of damage. That, that's that's one scenario like uh, in the, this uh, specific team composition uh, you could have instead of Clarissa you could have uh, a, another damage dealer like uh, Lorena it's just that I'm using Clarissa because she has defense down on her skill 1 and she has uh, between 1 or 2 bleeds on her uh, skill 3 depending if she's enraged or not to be enraged she needs to kill uh, a target and when she does she gets enraged for three turns and it carries over in between the uh, waves now uh, yeah so Diane she uh, she goes multiple times uh, like in the course of the battle she's high speed she boosts her combat readiness by 50% uh, without skill ups with her skill then you, you're using the uh, the artifact, I forgot the exact name, but uh, using the artifact that boosts her combat readiness when she uses a, a skill that doesn't attack. So that's skill number 2 and 3 for her, so with that and uh, when it's going to be uh, enhanced even further, she will use skill 3 and uh, 2 almost back to back, which, which she kind of already does, but uh, she's at like 168 speed or something like that, and I want her to have... Uh, much more than that eventually. I could go and get her more speed if I wanted, uh, but right now she's built more tanky, which she might not 
really need uh, that badly because uh, I'm six starring her. Like you saw, just double uh, double attacks right there from the wyvern, and uh, she just took them. Took them, no problem. But if uh, Tieria took those two attacks, uh, it's like a 50-50% chance that uh, she uh, she survives. But the barrier was on, so that did uh, definitely help. Buzz is immune to stun, provoke, sleep, and silence, and also is immune to decrease combat readiness uh, skills, which is unfortunate, but uh, that's the way it is. It would be too easy to control the wyvern if uh, if it wasn't uh, immune to that. So you could bring Diane with triple damage dealers. Uh, like I could take uh, Tiaria out and bring Lorena but if I did that that's two uh, debuffs it, it's really odd it's really odd that this the wyvern is uh, doing the uh, the tail swing two games in a row that, like, that's the first time I see that actually I know why it's, it's doing that I know why it's because I changed the artifact that I have on my uh, Tarnar guard. <laughs> Clarissa deals a lot of damage. That's why, because my Tarnar guard uh, is not getting uh, to a low amount of HP, so he's not fully using this Elspis. And it, it's en enhanced to plus six, so I'm gonna just replace that to what I was using before. This is much better for now. Clarissa, I, I want to I want to have this on her, but um, I mean, she, that's the thing. She doesn't even need the crit chance because she's ice against uh, fire. Uh, you get a crit chance boost against uh, the element that you counter, and she's already at over eighty percent. And I think you're getting like 20, 25 or 25% uh, crit chance uh, boost when you're fighting the uh, the element you're strong against. All right, so let me show you this team, uh, team's gear. Let's start with Diane. So she's on speed health, no skill ups. You can pause if I go too quick. This is from PVP. Go in the conquest point chop. This is it's not good really. Like there's only the the main stat 11% defense and the uh, 4% health that's useful here really. And this was uh, given to uh, everyone uh, because the game received a million download. And it's really good. It's really good. If, if you can roll speed multiple times on this ring, grats. Really, like, it's it's gonna be huge, because getting uh, a piece of jewelry, a ring like this, is, uh, is quite hard, especially on a speed set. Especially on a speed set. Health percentage on a speed set, wow. And uh, here's the boots. And this is only pl enhanced plus uh, 3. But look, increase the caster's combat readiness by 16.5% uh, when using a skill that does not attack enemies. It's just, it's beautiful on her. And uh, if you go into the journal. There it is. So between 15% and 30%, I'm not even close to having this thing max, but Realistically, let's say it's going to be halfway there, which is uh, well, it's going to be a 22.5%, which is huge. Then add uh, her skill ups. Like if I start skilling her up, well, this is uh, minus one turn. But this here, combat readiness, you got five percent here, so. When she's buffed, that's 20% combat readiness. Uh, I mean, the artifact's not kicking in here, but uh, that is 30% uh, combat readiness. It's gonna add up. Okay, so 
that's our stats, show the gear and uh, this is my Tornar guard been using him for so long he's amazing uh, have a guide out of, uh, for him so if you're interested very uh, free to play friendly this is the Abyss gear the first set of Abyss gear life steal tier 4 there's tier 5 and tier 6 later on only a tier 3 artifact yeah, just check out my guide uh, yeah very free to play friendly because pulling a 3 star hero over the course of It depends, like if you're like gonna play this game for a week and then quit. It's, I mean, I'm talking about like if you're gonna stick with this game for for multiple months. You're gonna get all three star heroes uh, during that time, unless you're very unlucky. Clarissa, crit, crit, hit. Just pause if I go too quick. I'm just gonna go back to this one. Just because uh, crit, crit, and hit sets are, I mean. Very easy to obtain from the Wyvern. Uh, if I was farming Golem, I would uh, I would have like an attack set and a crit set. But it works out. The hit gives the effectiveness that I need to land the debuffs. And uh, there is one more, which is it's here. Yeah. Where is she hiding at? There it is. There she is. Okay. Speed ahead, 189 speed. Her gear, like the survival, is really not there. It's it's, it's all about just getting a bunch of speed on her. And this artifact is actually really good on her. Just build up speed as uh, as you attack. You build it up on the first uh, first wave against uh, wyvern or golem. Okay, so yeah, that's the gear, and uh, really glad I pulled her. Good luck to everyone if you're still trying to pull for her, as you're getting bookmarks. Uh, yeah, I'm planning to uh, skill up her second skill and get the minus one turn cooldown for this barrier because this is up uh, as I get more speed on her uh, she will have this uh, it's gonna have a high uptime or close to 100% uptime on the slower uh, heroes on my team my, my damage dealers so it's fine I can just get this for extra survival more uh, dispelling and more barrier and uh, with my Tarnar guard, it's like he's on lifesteal. So uh, between the lifesteal and the barrier, it's working just fine. And uh, yeah, move the CP. My silk is ultra squishy, but like, look at that speed. Crit, crit damage. She deals a ton of damage, but she also dies extremely quickly. I mean, I, I can't really use her in Wy Wyvern. I tried her, it's just she's gonna get focused down real quick because she's Earth and Fire Counters Earth. But yeah. Alright. Guess that's it for this one. I'll make another video and have uh, some arena fights uh, with Diane. I'm just using this on defense right now. Testing this out. It's just it's like Silk goes first, and then it's Diane, and then it's Clarissa, and then it's Tarnar Guard. But really, I need something that stalls longer. Like Clarissa, Silk dies in, like instantly, basically. You just attack her with a damage dealer, she's just gonna die. Then Clarissa is very squishy. Tarnar Guard is 6 star, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, Diane is uh, fairly tanky. But uh, yeah, it's like if I put uh, Tiaria in here, it doesn't quite work. Just, she's very very squishy and uh, gets killed I mean I might start uh, with my defense team I might start first but uh, it doesn't matter like they will just take out my my bigger threat like Silk's gonna be down Clarissa's gonna be down then Tarnar Guard's gonna down, be down 
and uh, with an earth team or mostly earth heroes it's gonna be very easy to uh, to counter this uh, I'm building uh, judged and uh, he's like a sort of recurs recurs is hard to get though he's a moonlight seven three star very very strong I'm gonna test things out with judged and I'm planning to use Diane judged and uh, Tarnar guard and the fort could be well I can rotate different heroes in but it will provide continuous healing uh, and speed buff then attack buff from Diane I could build a tank I was thinking of uh, like Pylos gets uh, defense up for the whole team when uh, when she receives four attacks but really, Provoke is not as strong in this game as compared to like Summoner's War because it doesn't work on bosses. Like bosses are, are they're immune to Provoke, so that that's a problem right there. Uh, Tarnar Guard can't really be used as a tank. But uh, I was thinking maybe to just use Destina, Diane, and Tarnar Guard, and then Jetched. That would be super annoying to deal with if I make my Diane extremely quick even though her base speed is like 102 I mean if they take out Tarnar guard if they don't have any healer on their team my my supports might be able to uh, survive long enough for them to die from the the arena damage the AoE uh, they take over time so uh, Diane yeah, 103 speed is is low. Uh, speed teams will uh, most likely kill me if they uh, if they can take down all the supports. Really, they're gonna be pretty tanky uh, when I uh, gear them out. But yeah, she she's got a low low speed, but her kit is very strong. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Be making more uh, Diane's video. So, uh, yeah, take a look out. And uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, like, subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.